Welcome to this special platform, Iconic Baby Steps. Join me, Tony Udutola, and become a friend of God. Hallelujah. Remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are blessed. You are a royal diadem in the hand of the Lord. Today's message is a word of encouragement titled, God wants us to love him most. John chapter 21 verse 15. I read from the King James Version. So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. Do you love me more than these? Who or what are these? The resurrected Jesus has appeared on the beach near where Peter and the others of his chosen disciples are fishing. Jesus calls them to a breakfast he has prepared. Following breakfast, Jesus begins a conversation with Peter. Lovest thou me more than these other apostles love me? In this question, Jesus refers to the profession of superior attachment to him which Peter had made before his death in Matthew 26 verse 33. Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Another version can be read from John chapter 13 verse 37. Jesus here slightly reproves him, I mean Peter, for that confident belief or declaration reminds him of his sad and painful denial and now puts this direct and pointed question to him to know what was the present state of his feelings. Remember, Simon Peter had all good intentions and I do not think or would ever doubt he himself ever thought he could betray Jesus, our Lord and Savior. After all, Simon Peter was very loyal to Jesus. He impressed Jesus many times with his confidence. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. That was Peter's word. However, Peter, by this triple confession, is restored into his former position from where he fell by his triple denial, proclaimed that he is indeed a pastor who shows his love to Christ in feeding his sheep. Brethren, this is a very sensitive message. Jesus is demanding from Simon Peter the greatest love for him. And I believe he is also asking me, as well as you too, the same question today. I strongly believe this is the main reason why God, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Holy Spirit, has given me this special sensitive verse for this week's word of encouragement. Lovest thou me more than these other apostles love me? Brethren, Jesus repeated this question three times. Listen again. I read verse 16. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep, meaning take care of my sheep. And verse 17, he saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time. I suppose I could just imagine if I were in his shoes, how I would have felt. Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, feed my sheep. Do you as a child of God 
ever wonder, do you really love the Lord? Did Peter? In the end, he had no proof. I mean, Peter had no proof. He just knew, the Lord knew, that he genuinely loved him. Jesus sees into the heart and knows love, and he also knows our efforts to love. We are called to feed his people in many ways, not because we are perfect, but because we do our best to share the best of our lives with others as children of God. My lambs. The church is often compared to a flock. We can read this in John chapter 10, verses 1 to 16. Here, the expression of my lambs undoubtedly re refers to the tender and the young in the Christian church, to those who are young in years and in Christian experience. Lambs, young and tender disciples, whether in age or Christian standing. We can check also Isaiah 40, verse 11. 1 John chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. And by the sheep, the more mature, the Lord Jesus saw what has been confirmed in the experience of the church, that the success of the gospel among men depended on the care which the ministry would extend to those in early life. If you do not truly love him, there is no way you will be able to take care and feed his lambs. So, do you really, do you truly love Jesus more than anything else in the world? Do you love Jesus more than your worldly desires? Do you love Jesus more than your desire of having family to yourself without thinking or caring of others? Do you love Jesus more than feeding your sinful desire? Do you love Jesus more than your pride and ego? Do you love Jesus more than your wealth? Do you love Jesus more than your social status, your ambition, achievement, success, future security, husband, wife, children, parents, and people recognition, as well as praises, want to be noted and noticed everywhere. Jesus asks and continues to ask, Simon, son of John, do you truly love me more than these? Conclusively, brethren, John chapter 1, verses 1 to 15, describes how Jesus revealed his unfading love for Peter and other disciples after his glorious resurrection and appearance to his disciples. He is revealing this unfailing love to you and me today by asking, do you truly love me more than these? These idols of your lives. If you have not listened to my message on the idol that hinders, please do. Whom, what, which we love the most is of great importance. By what we love, our life, present and future, and most importantly, our eternity, is influenced, shaped, and depends on it. To be a disciple of Jesus is to be asked the question often, Do you love me? It is not that Jesus doubts us, but he wants us to recognize how we express that love by reaching out in various ways, in spirit and in truth. Brethren, let us all ask ourselves Christ's question to the denier. Let us look at our past evils full in the face that we may learn to hate them and that we may learn more of the capability of the power of his pardoning mercy. May God grant that we may all be able to say, Thou knowest all things, 
thou knowest that I love thee. Amen. If you haven't given your life to Christ, why not join me today and become a friend of God by accepting him as your personal savior while you have the opportunity to do so? Tomorrow might be too late. Please say this prayer after me. Dear Lord, I come to you in full repentance. I accept you as my one and only personal savior. Lord, I ask for your forgiveness of all my sins, known and unknown. I am sorry for taking you for granted. Write my name in the book of life. Father, I declare that I am nothing without you. I depend on you for everything in my life. I say bye-bye to the devil and carry the cross of righteousness. Please give me the grace to serve you, Lord, in spirit and in truth, and let your everlasting peace reign in me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 I congratulate you for taking a bold step of faith. For further information, to pray with you, guide you, and support you, you can contact us via the email address placed on the screen. Thank you for joining me today. God bless and see you next time. Bye.